Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jimmy and welcome to my new tutorial. So in this video I'm going to be going over how you can airbrush a model's face fairly quickly and easily using Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now of course whatever version you're using, whether it's CS3, 4 or 5, you should be able to follow along with no problems at all. So as you can see here, I've already got my portrait up in Photoshop, but this is the final portrait and you can see the original one here. So there is quite a huge difference in everything, however this one has already had Lightroom adjustments as well as the initial retouching done to it and as well as the airbrushing. Now if you'd like to see how I did the Lightroom adjustments as well as retouching, I'll put tutorial links to those in the description as well as on the screen and you can check those ones out now. Okay so on this video I'm just going to be going over the retouching part, you can see if I hide that layer, uh, that is it without the retouching and now that is it with the retouching. As you can see, it still looks fairly natural in my opinion, and it's just a good way to even out the skin tones, get some skin tones back in these shadows and over here, and as well as get rid of this redness on her face on this side. So let's jump right into it. As you can see, I've already got the portrait loaded up here, and the first thing that we need to do is create a new layer. So we're going to go up to Layer, New Layer, and we're going to call this one Airbrush. Now, as I said previously, this probably isn't the most effective way. It's just the quickest and easiest way, in my opinion. And uh, I might make a tutorial if I find a better way to do it and a more advanced way to get better results. Um, this way seems good enough for most situations. So what we're going to do now is with our new airbrush layer selected, we're going to select our brush tool. And we want to change our brush opacity up here to about 20%. Okay, so with our brush tool, we want to make sure that our hardness is set to 0% and we have a pretty decent size. Now the size is going to vary depending on the section of the face you're working on as well as the size of your overall picture. Okay, so now with our brush tool set, we're going to grab our eyedropper tool by holding Alt and click somewhere on her forehead just for starters. Now you can see it selects that skin tone color and we're pretty much just going to paint over that area. And now as you're going, you want to make sure that you keep sampling areas of color just so we don't have it all the one color. And you can see that the effect that we're getting is you know, just evening out the skin tones, getting rid of some of these highlights and, you know, different colors within the picture. Now, we also want to make sure that, you know, you don't go over any details since it will soften it. If you do go over any hair details or eyes or lips, it's going to add a very slight skin tone color to that and it's probably not going to look any good. So you want to make sure that you're careful with it, do a good job and, um, and don't go over any important details. Now, you can also adjust your um, brush size fairly quickly by using your square bracket tools. And if you've got something like this on her cheek here, which is just a bit of redness, you can go over that a couple of times and you can see it evens it out even better. So now we want to make sure that we go over her entire skin, so under her lips here, down onto her chin. And again, you want to make sure that you don't go off the face. And take your time with it. As I say in every tutorial, I'm just doing this relatively quickly because I don't like making really long tutorials. Um, but you get the idea, and if we just finish that off there, you can see if we just toggle that layer on and off, it's gotten rid of all of these, you know, shadow parts here, it's gotten rid of this redness, added a bit better skin tone, and uh, evened it all out quite a bit. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. As you can see, if we toggle that on and off, it's given quite a good result considering the amount of time and effort we actually put into it. Um, if you spend a bit more time on it, you will get a better result, as I always say. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. If you found this useful or it helped, be sure to hit that like button to help me out. And uh, you can subscribe for future tutorials. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.